longer scared. Okay. Mm. Holy shit, guys, that's the funny. Guys, we reached the funny. I can't get behind having rats as pets. Mice, sure. But rats are just less cute mice. My mic is doing the fucky. Oh no! I actually have to pause to fix that. I'll pause after the next funny. Guys, we have seen Dodger Dweller. Okay. Ding ding, testing, testing. I wish more people would see pausing as a viable strategy in runs. Obviously not pausing to separate a transition, but pausing just to, I don't know, regain composure or like uh, take a breather before a hard part or something like that that doesn't have a transition, obviously, so you're not cheesing the actual difficulty. I still feel like that's legit. Gammo used to do that way back in the day. Like, for songs like Destruction Armageddon, I did it for Cindy's Fanatical Solo Frenzy. I don't think pausing should count as invalidating a run. Like, we're humans still, you know? We gotta deal with stupid fucking hearts being garbage and nerves and shit. I don't think we should repress our FCs just by forcing ourselves to not pause. Okay, there are situations in which it can, yes. And I'd say, like, pausing in a song like Extends Levant is definitely cheesing the difficulty because that song is about stamina and if you pause long enough to regain your arm stamina at a part that's not even on a transition I still think you're cheesing the difficulty of the song it's still an FC don't get me wrong it's just probably not to the same standard as a non paused FC in the same way that a spammed FC of g-force isn't really the same thing as a non spammed one you know I'd hold it to the same regard I still feel like people should do it more. It's less shameful than spamming. I feel like spamming is what people do before they learn how to play the game. And it's a bad habit to keep as well. Even though I literally haven't improved any physicality, haven't improved any sort of uh, techniques, I'm just a much better player than I was eight months ago. Simply because... All of my FCs are clean as fuck now. <laughs> They're more visually impressive, you know? In other words, I got better at the game. Even though I didn't. Because at the end of the day, FCs are all about stees. That's all they're about. If you don't have the stees, then your FCs aren't as steezy as somebody else's steezy FCs. So, you gotta take the stees very seriously. By the way, every time you guys do the give streamer energy thing, it drops my 144 hertz monitor to 60 hertz. So, like, do that as minimal as possible. Oh god. Chat, why? I can't play Clone Hero at 60 hertz. It's disgusting! I can see the frames! Yeah. Leaf Green is a genius. You just can't appreciate his artistic value. Exile made this as a way of testing a bug that was in Guitar Hero 3 originally. For some reason, there was a hard limit in the code of 120,000 seconds, which I believe equals two hours. And for some reason, that was left in the game. So whenever people tried to put in a song that was more than two hours long, which happened quite frequently considering the 399 note limit had been broken before that, then the game would crash. I actually experienced that bug firsthand a long time ago because I tried to play a chart that was Solus 4 12 times in a row. Tried to pass that actually, and I didn't because the game crashed. Fun, fun. So, yeah, he made this song as a way of testing the two hour bug, which is why, despite this song being called Two Hour Testament, it's not actually two hours long, it's two hours and ten minutes because it's testing a two hour time limit bug rather than the song itself being two hours precisely just because it's a song itself. Now, this is the best FC of all time, man. It, it has the most notes, it's two hours long. Like, imagine the nerves. I know, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is probably my favorite in the Black Ops series. 
at least speaking from a zombie's perspective. Because think about it this way, right? Black Ops 1 has a more fun engine, right? It's more polished. But Black Ops 3 has custom zombies. It's very f uh, noob friendly, and it can be very expert friendly as well, depending on how you play. There are 14 maps, I think? And the thing that's great about that is it sh has both play styles, right? It has Zombies Chronicles for the people who like a more vanilla experience and less Easter egg oriented. And it has the, you know, base game maps, which are very fucking fun and are also very catered to the people who enjoy Easter eggs. It covers all bases. People think that Gobblegums make the game too easy, so don't use them. If you want a harder experience, don't use Gobblegums. If you want a hard first room challenge, play Shadows of Evil first room. That is really hard. If you want to play custom zombies, Black Ops 3 is expansive. It doesn't have the same custom zombies maps as World at War did for obvious reasons, but at the same time, it has new ones that are very fantastic, like uh, Cryogenic. It has, um, I don't remember the one name of it, but it was like this uh, snow area with a laboratory in it. It was really cool. And then of course, Octagonal Ascension, Octagonal Ascension V2, Decagonal Demise, all of these really hard challenging maps for people who want something more to do. It's such a fantastic game. And people don't give it enough credit because they're too like hooked on the nostalgia of Black Ops 1. Also, it's a lot easier to install custom maps on Black Ops 3. It's as simple as going to the Steam Workshop and clicking subscribe. You don't have to open up percent app data percent, go to your local folder and drag folders if the mod developer just decides, you know what, I'm not gonna make an EXE. Fuck! <laughs> I hate it! Barack Obama, Barack Obama! Barack Obama, Barack Obama! Oh, baby! That is really realistic, wow. That's still one of my favorite moments from uh, wrestling ever, when uh, fucking Mick Foley tells The Rock it doesn't matter what you think. And then he just runs around the ring like a happy child who just got given like cake or something. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen. If you're watching this, please chug a bottle of water right now. Otherwise you might end up like Eddie Hall and dehydrated. Star power. We did it. Ah, the two hour song is dead. <sighs> Fuck's sake. I'm gonna go brag to a sigh. Did you do the two hour testament, Chief? You did it? Bruh, that's a bruh moment. I asked for his autograph. Two hour testament is dead. What the fuck is wrong with you?